Okay, check this out. You're gonna love this. This is how we get the knee off. When you counter straight punches, either the, the jab or the cross, this is, in Filipino boxing, this is how we get our knee off. Very unique to Filipino martial arts. This is what we call the vertical scissors motion, which sets up your knee. Uh, scissors, or the term they use is gunting. Okay, vertical gunting, vertical scissors motion, and that's gonna set up a big knee to the groin or to the body. Okay, so uh, when he throws his jab, this is what we call the vertical scissors motion. Notice slowly how this hand's parrying, and this hand is basically just saluting. <laughs> it's like I'm putting, in my case, shaving cream on the head, or in his case, gel. <laughs> okay. So yeah, when you go like that, see, that's the vertical gunting motion. Okay. But what I'm gonna do, as I do that, I'm gonna change my stance to set up a big knee. If you don't change your stance, you won't have very much power on the knee. So you get a little more power if you change the stance. So as I go like that, notice how I'm changing my stance to set up a big knee. And sometimes we just position the hand like that. I like having this control. That's one of our classic dirty boxing controls. From there, notice how I'm gonna elbow. I won't even let go of his head. I wanna get my elbow off straight away from there. And then a big knee. Okay? Let's have another look at that. When I give the vertical gun thing like that, and that's the knee, you go elbow, elbow, grab the head, knee again. Okay? Now, you have to duplicate that when he throws the right cross, which is even easier because you don't have to change the stance. So when he gives the cross and I go like that, basically what I'm doing is the left hand is parrying, the right hand is doing the salute motion, basically grabbing the side of my head, and the knee is going same time. And then you come with a left elbow and then a right elbow. You want to grab his hair or his head or his neck and give him another knee. Okay? Let's check this out again. If it comes from the left, if from the jab, you got to change stance, knee, elbow, elbow, knee again. When it comes from the right cross, you come here. Okay? Now, the next part. Instead of using what we call the vertical scissors motion, we're going to use the split entry. So when he jabs, notice how I'm going to parry. Grab that head, see? You see where I have him? Keep a control on his hand. Keep a control on his neck. That's preventing him from punching with this hand. Punch with your right hand. Punch with your left hand. I don't think so. Okay, so from here, this is your big knee. I'm going to hold his head right here. I want him here. So I just go like that. See, that's your elbow. Okay, so you go elbow, elbow, grab the head, and do a knee. So that's the split entry. Now I have to do the split entry off of the right cross. He hits like that. That one grabs the head. See, that's your knee. Elbow, elbow, knee. Now check out this fine detail because this is really important. When he throws the cross and I get this control here, you see? Again, I'm controlling this hand and I'm controlling the head. Punch me. Punch me with the left. Punch me with the right. Do you see it? So from here, I'm going to get a big knee off. Okay? Knee. And now watch this. This is subtle because I'm moving my hand to the side of his head, because I want to throw his head into my elbow, my elbow, and then my knee here. Okay, let's have a look at that one more time, because when I go like that, I split it, and I get the big knee. Watch the throwing of the head. See my fingers on the side of it? I, if I had it on top, I'm just moving it to the side a little bit. This is very subtle, but enough to give the elbow a lot more impact when you throw his head into the elbow and the elbow, and then the knee. Okay? All right. Let's look at the whole thing now. We have four techniques. We have the vertical scissors off the jab, the vertical scissors off the cross, the split entry off the jab, and then the split entry off of the cross. Okay, so vertical gunting here, and knee. Elbow, elbow, knee again. It comes here, vertical gunting, and knee. Elbow, elbow, knee again. Number three, split entry, knee. Elbow, elbow, knee again. Number four, split entry, knee, elbow, elbow, knee again. So the combos are left elbow, right elbow, right knee. Okay, the other combo, 
right elbow, left elbow, left knee, which we already know because we already did that earlier on the cover and hit series. Left elbow, right elbow, right knee, right elbow, left elbow, left knee. The thing to remember about this, if I do a left and a right elbow, the same hand that did the elbow grabs the head and then the same side knee. But if I go right elbow, left elbow, the left hand grabs the head and a left knee. Okay, this is a knee series. You got it? Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, let's watch these guys do it. Okay, you guys are gonna love this. This blitz is sick. And if you're not from California or Hawaii or the <laughs> surf culture, sick means good. Okay, so check this out. Basically what you're gonna do, you go left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, you left hand grab, and then you left knee. And then you go right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, you right hand grab, and you right knee. Left elbow, right elbow, left elbow, grab with the left, and left knee, right elbow, left elbow, right elbow, grab with the right, and right knee, okay? Let's watch these boys do it. 